1.5 trillion dollars of debt in the United States of America. The House just passed a bill to increase the debt limit to 1.5 trillion dollars. And yes, you heard that correctly. Trillion with a T, not with a B, not with an M. So why did this happen? Well, during the panorama, we printed a lot of money. And with fiat, you can print money. There's no finite supply. That makes it different between Bitcoin. Bitcoin, 21 million supply, and it's finite, meaning that can't print anymore. So we did this because we had all these things that happened during the panorama. Okay, great. But we misappropriated quite a large amount of funds. And even though this bill isn't law yet because the Senate still needs to pass, it still needs to go through other things, it's very, very problematic because guess who's gonna be paying back that $1.5 trillion? You, me, our kids, future generations, okay? The way the United States is going right now, I'm not sure how much of a future we have, okay? I mean, the fact that you and I get to, or we're forced to budget, we don't just get to continue to take out debt, 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 Okay? We actually have to pay this debt back. When we take out a credit card loan, we pay that back. When we take out student loans, we got to pay that back. Home loan, got to pay that back. And don't forget, you're forced to put your money in a bank. Bank then takes your money, loans out, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Banking claps. And if we continue to take out all of this debt, who's going to be paying it back? Like, how is this going to end well for us? Again, I really think that what's happening in the U.S., all our public servants literally want us to fail. They want this country to fail or they want the financial system to fail. Why do they want the financial system to fail? Well, when you have a financial system that's failing, it's very easy to go ahead and wipe out all that debt, cause a lot of problems globally, and institute a new currency, the CBDC. And again, some people are like, yeah, who cares, whatever, but guess what? The Chinese yuan actually just flipped the US for Chinese cross-border transactions. So what does this mean? Well. The U.S. dollar used to be like the trading standard. That's what everybody used to trade in. And now we're seeing a lot of countries drop the U.S. dollar because they don't think it's as valuable as our public servants do. And guess what? They can do. But again, have no fear because you know that CBDC, it's coming. And of course, the banking failure that we had yesterday, First Republic, they halted their stock. Why did they halt their stock? Because of volatility and because the FDIC is gonna to have to come in and save them, okay? So not only are our public servants blaming the blaming inflation, the banking collapse, everything else on cryptocurrency, that's what they're blaming the banking collapse on, and I'm sure that we've heard public servants before talk about a lot of the pro financial problems we have in the US is due to cryptocurrency, which all they needed to do with cryptocurrency is give us some clear guidelines so we can pay our taxes and again, they would raise money. But it just came out that the House Financial Committee Republicans are looking for records to show crypto debanking. They, these letters were addressed to FDIC Chair Martin J. Grunberg, Fed Chair Powell, and Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. And as we all know, when the three banks collapsed, they stated that it was a crypto contagion problem. They blamed it on the crypto companies. But then we found out that when these banks collapsed, they were starting to debank cryptocurrency customers. And the debanking of cryptocurrency customers has been going on for a very, very long time. If you've got one of the big banks and you participate in any type of crypto business, it's very, very hard to get a bank account. Therefore, a lot of these crypto companies went to the smaller banks like Signature, Silvergate, Silicon, etc. because they're startups, okay? And the fact that there's discrimination about where you can bank when you are forced to have a bank account in the United States of America, if you have a business and just if you're a person in general, is absolutely problematic. And again, I really think most of the problems in the US are financial issues, there's a wealth gap, and not a lot of social issues. But anyways, that's what's happening. It's important to pay attention to all these types of things. We don't want a CBDC. We want to be able to bank wherever it is we want to bank, and we all want to have access to our money. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I will catch you later. I'll be at Consensus Austin 2023 all this week. Bye-bye.